Every day people like you and me are making thousands of dollars leveraging AI tools. How are they doing it and how can you and I replicate their sources? I spent hours researching their strategies, the, the tools they are using, and I've come up with five AI tools that have been using to generate an income that you can also use to make thousands of dollars, at least a thousand dollars every month if you know how to use these tools the right way. The very first and easiest AI tool that people are using today to make thousands of dollars is Jasper AI. You see, Jasper AI and other AIs like it are AI writing tools that are able to create blog articles, emails, and social media posts. But these AIs are able to do this in mere seconds. Writing blog articles you know, usually take hours to create, but with this AI tools, all you need to do is to input the prompts, like what is the title of the blog article you want to create, and it just creates it for you in seconds. There are two primary ways that this tool can be monitored. The first is freelance writing. This is where the people are paying you to write blog articles for them. You have a profile on freelance sites like Fiverr, Upwork, and you're collecting gigs from people that are looking for writers. People give you topic on these platforms for you to write content for them. And all you need to do is just take that topic, impute it on, you know, or just by, yeah, just by create this article for you in seconds. Most people that do freelance writing with AI tools make a lot of mistakes in the sense that once they impute, they get a gig from somebody, right? They take the input from that person, put it in just by AI, just by AI creates an article for them, and you just take that article in that form, raw form, and then deliver to the client. The problem with that is that you see, AI tools are prone to making errors. Yeah, they are not perfect. They don't do it just as we have them to be. They are not perfect, right? So you're prone to making errors. Plus, quite frankly, like a client could easily tell if a content is AI written. A smart freelancer takes the article that just for AI creates, not as the finished product, but as a draft. Now, you take it as a draft, then you put your human touch to it. You refine it, you edit it, you remove areas where the, the AI probably get it wrong or speaks in a way that tells that it's an AI, not a human. You put your own humanness, you put your own personal experiences into you know, the article and make it be something that is written by a human, refine it, and then you send it to the client. But there are several ways you can use this tool is if you have your own blog. If you're running your own blog, you can use this tool to generate articles for yourself and then that will enable you ultimately not just increase the amount of articles you're able to publish on your blog, read what, because obviously the amount of articles you're able to publish on your blog has it increases your chance of getting more traffic and making more money, whether you're advertising, whether your primary source of income in your blog is through ads or you have actually marketed in your blog or, you know, you uh, selling your own product. Website making, like it's, there's a lot of money to be made when you create your own blog. So, but I think that you could do both, like I do. You could have your own blog or a portfolio of blogs. So you use this AI tools to create, you know, content for yourself really, really fast. And same time, you could also be a freelance, if if a freelance writer making money on that. And this takes us to the next AI tool, on website creation, blog creation. Before, like. And the days past years ago, it used to require an experienced web developer to create a blog, to create a website, whether it's for a consulting website or an agency website, whatever from or a content-based website, whatever website it is, it used to require a web developer to be able to create a very good blog, a very good website, right? So in those days, like 10 years ago, thereabouts, you need to hire and a serious web developer to create a blog if you want to build an online business. Or, on the other hand, you yourself have to be an serious web developer so you build them. Then come WordPress and you know Shopify for e-commerce. You know, this platform, this uh, uh, um, CMS platforms, like they now make the process of website creation really, really fast. But that again is still tedious to create websites. Right, and the reason is because when it comes to creating websites with platforms like WordPress or Shopify, you still need to do designs, you still need to select the themes you're going to use, you still need to, you know, structure the different pages, link those pages, and there's just so much work 
that is still needed to be done in terms of creating websites. Now, the uh, the reason AI tool turn web or durable, these two AI tools, but preferably I durable, can create websites for you. I'm talking about finished websites, all the design, logo designs, you know, colors and everything you need to think of in terms of like website design today. These tools can create websites for you in a matter of minutes. I, I don't say seconds, but given, you know, internet speed and everything, they just leave it at minutes. In mere minutes, you have a fully functional website created for you using this AI tools. These are AI website, you know, building tools. And the thing, just like with other AI tools, there are different ways you could monetize this, right? One of the, one of the easiest way to really monetize this and make a quick buck is to monetize it as a web designer or a web developer. So you could you could put, especially get back again on the freelancing websites, or you could look for other ways, whether through social media to market yourself as a web designer. So all you need to do is to market yourself as a web designer and you get works from clients that wants to you to build a website for them about something. Maybe they, are, they want to you to build a website on agency, on their agency. So they need a website for their agency or they need a, a website for their consultancy business for their e-commerce store or for whatever, right? They hire you to create this website. With this AI tool, even if you don't have an experience creating like a pilot experience creating website, you just go use this AI tool to create this website in mere minutes. But then again, there's a big question. Why would a client pay you to build a website where they can equally do that with an AI tool? This is where it comes in. And I think that most people are ignoring this, but there's always Everything from my experience that an AI creates for you today, you should just really consider it as a draft, not the finished product. Especially if you're looking to monetize that, right? So the same thing with the website design. So design this website for you. Just they help you build like the boring stuff. They do the boring stuff this of web design. You should come in and give it, put in your creative pack as a designer, as a web designer, and then this again will increase your productivity. But then again, on the other end, instead of working building these websites for clients. You could build this website for yourself, right? You could run an online business. People are making thousands of dollars running. What are e-commerce, dropshipping, or you just want to run, get traffic from Google and just monetize that with ads or do affiliate marketing. People are making thousands. I myself have been making thousands of dollars every month using different websites, different platforms. I've made money with AdSense, Zoe, like different affiliate programs, Amazon affiliates. This is possible. People are doing it. It's still up to level today, even in the days of AI. In fact, AI just makes it really, really easy for most people to do it. So it really does have a reason not to create a website. So you can say, oh, I don't have the experience. I don't know how to develop a website or build a website. No, you, you don't have that excuse anymore. With AI tools like 10 web, because I wish you could create a website in a matter of minutes. And this could make you thousands of dollars. Obviously, when it comes to creation of websites as a business, this could take some time, like some months to get it off the ground. But once off the ground, you're going to get a passive income. This brings us to the third AI tools that people are using today to make thousands of dollars. And this is Dell 3. This is the OpenAI's image generator uh, AI tool that it's able to create an image from a text-based prompt. So you put in a text, Prompt, it does create an image of that. And how can you monetize this? How is it monetizable? Well, there's a really smart way that people are using this AI tool to make money. And when I found this out, it just made sense. Like, it just made sense. And this is true print on demand. Ever heard of print on demand? Well, this is a situation where people use platforms like Printful or Printify, right? To sell merchandise, merch. Whether that be t-shirts or mugs, people are using these AI tools to create print on demand stores. So basically how this works is you are selling t-shirts, mugs without actually having t-shirts and mugs. All you need to do is to create an online store where you're selling merch, right? You don't need to have this merch yourself because this print of the demand platform, they have that, they will fulfill the order for you, package it, they will package it, and then with the shipping, they handle that out. All you need to do on your own end is to have the online stores and get an order from a customer. When a customer places an order on your store, these print on demand platforms like Printify or Printful, they go on to fulfill that order. Importantly, in order to impress on the customer, the, you need to create 
the designs that are placed on the t-shirt themselves the designs on the t-shirts or the designs on the mock right these designs are called mock-ups right how do you create this mock-up so obviously this mock-up has to be interesting intriguing it has to be something that resonates with your customer in order for them to go place the order the first place this is where this ai image generator comes in place now you see this AI image generator is able to create different images for you that you could use high resolution images actually that you could use as more. You can use these images and place them on the t-shirt as mock up. Create the image with the three right? or you use the bint bint image generator, you use it to create this image. Then you give you you submit this image on Printful or Printify as your mock-up and whenever it does not place an order for that t-shirt. Printful prints the shirts, prints the t-shirt, all the more, prints the design on the t-shirt or on the box and delivers it to the customer. You can be really smart with how you run this and you see this is a business that people can set up with little or no cancel up front. So all you need to do, all the cost that will really cost you the cost of setting up the website, you don't, out beyond that there's just not much cost on your own end. So you can actually use AI to create a great website to begin with. Then you use this AI to create your mockups, and people are making a lot of money of this. AI image generators like the three are able to create really, really awesome images. Just look at these images that I created using this AI to do some really awesome images that I would like to have on my t shirt, right? This is a really, really cool thing. And this trend, I think, is not going anywhere. Outside website creation and using the AI to build websites and websites related business, how else do you use AI to make money? Well, we are on YouTube. And I think one of the easiest ways to, that people today are using AI to make money on YouTube is through faceless YouTube channels. This is insane. Actually, I'm working on right now, I'm working on a faceless YouTube channel. I'm going to review that to allow it to gain organic traction, right? Using surely AI. People are making money off YouTube creating AI, you know, AI powered YouTube channels. And this works. There is the AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini, or even Cloud3. These tools are perfect for this because they can serve as a one-stop shop for running this business YouTube channel. And for me personally, all I use ChatGPT for or Gemini independent. I do use both of them so I can just pick the best ideas from the two. How do you use AI tools to run a faceless YouTube channel? The key thing is knowing how to use AI to create these videos. That's the key thing. The very first thing when it comes to video creation, I think most people, YouTubers would agree, is your title and thumbnail. You can use AI to get ideas for titles. So depending on what your channel is about, say you have a channel on, you know, on making money. All you need to do is to go to ChatGPT or you go to, you know, Gemini and you ask, hey, ChatGPT domain, give me some YouTube ideas, YouTube title ideas on how to make money or making money. You just get a list of prompts of different titles. You just pick the one that you feel is best. You do a little bit of analysis, search analysis or comparative analysis to see if those videos, those titles themselves are performing well on YouTube. But I think generally these AI tools are really smart in terms of like title creation. So they really give really good titles that are clickable and that you know can get you know traction because they can get traction on YouTube. So you get your title, you ask them to okay, you pick your title and you ask the same prompts, the same you know, ask another prompt, hey, okay, give me a, a thumbnail design idea on this topic, on this title of a YouTube of a YouTube video. So give a thumbnail, a YouTube thumbnail idea on this title. It just creates an idea, it an idea for you, and then you use that to design your thumbnail. So you have your title, you have your thumbnail, what do you witness? Just script. Then you go again, you impute, okay, our uh, ChatGPT or Gemini State, I need a script for this YouTube title, right? Yep. To choose that gives you different drafts of different script ideas so you pick whichever switch you were up and this is where you then call it as human that is up to you you have to go through the script and add your own bit of information try to like personalize it to make it calm down not be something that you know just sounds really boring to you know audiences right so you have to put in your own humanness just a bit of research or do your own personal research on the topic and add some you know personal touch in there in the script so you have a script the next is converting that script to audio so you have a text-based script to convert that script to an audio based format so how do you do this there are many ways you could do this you would simply take your phone read the script yourself 
right? Using your own voice. You could take your phone, read the script yourself. But then if you don't want your own voice in the video, right? You could use AI tools that are able to like create audios from text. So from text audio, you could do that. But I think preferably use your own, use your own, um, use your own voice or get an AI or get somebody, use a commanding voice. I think it's really better because people can just tell you something. It's just like AI, well, people could tell like AI, AI, all this AI voice and all of that. So preferably use your own voice or get somebody to do that for you. It doesn't cost much to get, um, you know, to get somebody to do that for you. So you do that. So you can have your own chill, right? The next is a video. So I think in this case, this is where you could use ChatGPT text to video, you know, generation. The new release of the ChatGPT Sora AI that can create videos from a text-based prompt. So if you use text to videos to like open AI Sora to create text, to create videos, right? Videos that you could then mesh with your audio. So you have to create videos that kind of matches to what you're saying in the, in the audio. So that provides more context and people are doing this using AIs to create huge, uh, uh, faceless YouTube channels and they're making thousands of dollars off this. But then, still on the topic of creating videos and making videos, there's this insane AI tool that I come across that people are smartly using to make a lot of money with. You see, just like Mr. Beast said, right, if you're making videos just on English, we do like on one language, which is obviously your primary language, your native language, or your primary language, or your first language, whatever that is, it could reach a lot more audience if you can speak, you know, other languages and create videos in those languages to reach out to those audiences. So, say for example, I can speak Spanish and I make videos for Spanish based audience. The same video content, obviously, like this video, for example, we have this video done completely in the Spanish language. That enables me to reach out to not just the English based audience, but also to Spanish audience. That increases how much I am making creating videos, whether it means creating for clients or for myself, right? So there is this insane AI tool, Hygiene AI. <laughs> It's able to like translate video, a video made in one language, translate it using the same the person's voice, right? To create that same video, but delivered in a different language. Es ist fast wie ein Video, das in einer Sprache erstellt und mit derselben Stimme übersetzt wurde, um dasselbe Video in einer anderen Sprache zu liefern. So this is pretty much how it works. All you need to do is to have your own video, like the video you want to translate. So it's this guy AI voice translator. Currently it has over seven to eight languages that you could convert to, right? That's all you need to do. You just create the video, upload the video, select the language you want to convert it to, and let it do its magic. And voila, you have a video in a completely new language. This can enable you to reach more markets, new markets. Like, I try to speak Spanish or Chinese, like I could reach, I wish YouTube is on China, which this YouTube legally allowed in China. If that is the case, well, I could make videos and target the billions of people in China. Let's think about that.